First up, Sarah Caggiano. Sarah joined the pre-team at OGC when she was just six years old. As Sarah grew up, she became a talented athlete, playing on club soccer and basketball teams, <laughs> captaining the varsity soccer and lacrosse teams at Walter Johnson High School, and placing seventh in the state in the 300 meter dash this year. However, as talented of an athlete as she was, swimming was never a strength of hers. But the inability to pull water couldn't keep her from spending the past 12 summers in the pool, swimming alongside her closest friends. Although Connie wasn't the swim coach at OGC for Sarah's entire career, she was Sarah's first coach, last coach, and best coach. Sarah wants to thank Connie for everything she has taught her in and out of the pool. She would also like to thank her mom for supporting her over the years, and the other 15 18 for making each summer better than the last. Sarah has made some amazing memories at OGC that she will cherish for the rest of her life. Sarah graduated from Walter Johnson with honors, and will attend the University of San Diego in the fall. But however far she travels, Sarah will always be a dolphin at heart. Congratulations, Sarah. Next up is Carly Federman. Carly Fetterman joined the OGC swim team in 2010 as an 11-12 year old. She recently graduated from Walter Johnson High School. Next year, Carly will be attending Virginia Tech and will be studying civil and environmental engineering. She wants to thank Connie, Caroline, and all the other coaches she has had along the way for pushing her and making the swim team enjoyable. Even though swimming wasn't her strongest sport, she loves the friends and memories she has made along the way. And Carly will always be a dolphin at heart. Next up, Lydia Shea McInerney. Yeah, Lydia's swimming career got off to a rocky start when as a seven-year-old in her first A meet, she led the 25 freestyle and she promptly stood up as she finished the race, not realizing that she had touched the wall. Several swimmers finished in front of her before the timers finally convinced Lydia to put her hand on the wall. This inauspicious start was followed by 10 great summers at OGC where she cemented lifelong friendships with her summer pals who regularly kept up with each other as they went their different ways during the school year. She will always happily remember what she calls the glory days of eight and under OGC marathon showers, perfecting her dance moves for the talent show, annual birthday parties in the barn, earning the bullet paint woman play for plate awards, and life goals. When she wasn't swimming at OGC, Lydia did winter swimming at RMSC and All-Star Aquatics, as well as four years on Holy Child's varsity swim team, where she was captain her senior year. Lydia hasn't been around much this summer, as she has been interning on Capitol Hill again this year. Luckily, Lydia's July birthday makes her eligible for next summer, so don't be surprised to see her next year. Lydia is especially thankful to Coach Connie, who helped Lydia grow as a swimmer and a young woman. Next month, Lydia will be off to Marist College in New York, to study communications and public relations. And Lydia will always be a dolphin at heart. <laughs> Next up, Ariel Plotnik. Yeah, Ariel! <laughs> Ariel wishes she could be here today. She is very fortunate to have two wonderful summer families, OGC and Capital Camps, where she is a lifeguard and counselor and couldn't get the day off. Ariel started swimming at OGC when she was six. She also dove for a few years until she realized, in her own words, how bad she was at anything beyond a pencil dive. She has many fond memories of her time at OGC. Among her favorites are qualifying for divisionals in five by one, by one one hundredth of a second, fourth of July practices, playing beaver in the well, A meet themes, especially tribal day, couple noodles at B meets, swimming up to do fly in the medley relay with her older sister, Danny, and finally, being able to go on the diving board at halftime to lead cheers when she turned 15. She is grateful to Connie for only making her swim breaststroke once each year at time trial. She loved swimming in the lane where her dad was climbing and appreciated her mom's clerk job because that meant there were always colored Sharpies in the house for school projects. Mm -hmm. Ariel misses her swim team friends and Saturday meets as well as her parents next year. 
Ariel is living up to her namesake. She is a certified scuba diver and plans to study marine science at the University of Delaware in the fall, and of course, will always be a dolphin at heart. Next up, Sydney Ruder. Sydney started swim team at 11 years old, and even though she was late to the game, she quickly picked up the strokes and found her second home at OGC. Sydney made fast friends on the team, and her favorite sets included anything with kicking. Her favorite stroke was backstroke, and she enjoyed swimming it in the 15-18 relays at the start of meets, but even more than swimming, Sydney loved the dolphin spirit. Whether it's team cheers, giving out high fives, or cheering on some teammates at the end of the lane, Sydney has always seen participating in some level, some level that spreads OGC spirit. OGC gave Sydney great friends and amazing coaches that she will continue to cherish for years to come. She would like to especially thank Connie and Caroline for helping her all these years, for providing her endless motivation and support. Sydney attended Holton Arms School, which she swam from 7th to 12th grade, and was elected captain her senior year by her teammates. Sydney graduated with high honors from Holton Arms who will be attending the Kelly School of Business at Indiana University of Bloomington in the fall of 2016. Sydney is, and always will be, a dolphin of all. <laughs> Next up, Alex Visserine. Alex Missouri started swimming at OGC at the age of, age of five and never looked back. Driven by fierce competitiveness and a bit of a temper, Alex has always enjoyed the various team rivalries each year that arise in each division and the weekly opportunities to help pull out a relay win or try for a new best time. It is clear that the team aspect of summer swimming really is ultimately the most important part of Alex's experience because his relay splits will be usually several seconds faster than his individual event time. <laughs> Lucky enough to be a coach for the last two years, Alex has grown through the challenges of balancing his club swimming and his time on the deck with Connie and the gang. There is no question that OGC has been an immense part of Alex's life and he will miss it in future years. Alex will be attending and swimming at Indiana University in Bloomington this fall and, like the other swimmers, will always be a dolphin at heart. Last but certainly not least, Catherine Williams. <laughs> Catherine joined the OGC diet team at the age of six and fell in love immediately with the people and the amazing team spirit. Hold up, hold up, hold up. If asked, Catherine will always say her favorite stroke is freestyle, and her favorite part of the meet is the final reel. Over the years at OGC, Catherine has made many great friends, created lifelong memories, and learned from coaches who have pushed and supported her through her years as an OGC guy. <laughs> Important life lessons like being part of a team, supporting your friends, and working hard to reach a goal were all instilled in Catherine at a young age. The OGC community gave her the security, support, and confidence she needed to grow into the strong, independent person she is today. The OGC spirit is one she will never forget. The favorite moments have always been dressing up in whatever crazy outfits you can find in your house, laughing during her races as her friends cheer her on, and starting whoosh during the final relay. For years at OGC, it motivated her to swim and dive for Walt Whitman's high school varsity teams all four years. Those 12 hot summers at OGC paid off as it was the spirit and support she showed for her fellow teammates that made it possible for her to be named co-captain of the team for senior year. Finally, Catherine wants to thank Connie and Caroline for setting a high bar every hour of every practice. Catherine ever swam a stroke in the OGC pool and for always believing in her. The lesson of aiming high and not giving up has always been a motto for them as one Catherine will carry with her to college and throughout life. Next month, Catherine heads to California where she will be a freshman at the University of Redlands. She hopes to be, continue swimming and on the varsity club teams. Go Dolphins! And like all the females, Catherine will stay Dolphins. We have a big round of applause for all of our seniors. Thank you. Great.
Ladies and gentlemen, we do have a halftime score. Uh, 201 points, Robin Hood, 211, Old Georgetown.